Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be finding out how much faster I can run in a pair of 9.99 running shoes versus a pair of Nike Next Percent Vaporflies. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to a very special one-off video driven by one of you guys. Now, I've got an email, I get millions of emails, and this one is quite a cool one. Dear Fordy, I loved your recent video on those affordable 9.99 running shoes, which looked amazing. These ones. I also saw your one mile PB video on those really expensive pink running shoes and wondered if those awesome 9.99 running shoes are just as fast. Let's talk about these ones. I love the channel, it's the best running YouTube channel and I hope everybody who watches your videos is subscribed and telling all their running buddies to subscribe. All the best, Mr. Decathlon. So Mr. Decathlon, he is very, very, very interested to find out if this awesome 999 shoe can be just as fast as this, the Vaporfly X%. So we're back here in Wolfham Abbey, Essex, where I did that one mile PB. Uh, it was a couple of weeks ago, uh, and I ran it in under six minutes. I can't remember the exact time. I will look it up before we get started. Um, and so we're going to find out today if I can run just as fast, if not faster, in a pair of 9.99 shoes versus a pair of, let's for argument's sake, say 200 pound shoes. It's going to be very interesting, as always on 40 Runs, it's going to be very scientific and we're going to put a lot of effort into making sure that it's done in the correct way. So I'm going to get changed, I'm going to get warmed up and then we're going to get the show on the road. So PB is 5.51, and a little bit about the shoes, if you've not seen the video, check it out, they're 9.99, you can get them from Decathlon, um, and they've got some like EVA foam and all that sort of stuff. I'll put a little thing up at the side of the screen so you can check them out in terms of um, weight and all that sort of stuff, but they are relatively lightweight. It's a little bit windier today than the last time I did the uh, PB challenge over here, so I don't know if that's gonna impact me too much, but yeah, and actually it's a little bit wetter as well, look. But anyway, that's just excuses. I'm gonna get warmed up and then we're gonna see how fast I can run in a pair of 9.99 running shoes. Okay, let's do this. Done. Woo. It says 6.29. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Uh, that's definitely slower. I could really feel that uh, breeze up the back. Uh, hang on. But it's definitely slower. Definitely felt leggy. Really leggy. Oh, it's not come full drive yet, but according to this, it was 6.29, which I mean, that's like a minute slower. Whew, let's have a look. So, where is it? Uh, bear with. Right, so last time out was uh, 5.51. So not a minute slower, but this one's not yet uploaded. Um, hang on, let me just do this. So, it's come through 6.25. So that's like 30 seconds slower. Which actually, you know what? All things considered, that ain't actually too bad. So Mr. Decathlon, your shoes are awesome. They're 30 seconds slower over a mile than the next percent vapor flight. But at 9.99, it's all relative, isn't it really? I mean, the only downside of today's run is look at the state of them, look. Now the chairman wanted these for Christmas. But I don't think he's gonna be very happy when I hand these over to him on Christmas Day. But anyway, sorry, totally digress. So there you go. As always, 40 Runs is delivering value. It's delivering content for the everyday runner. 
And today we proved that actually, a 9.99 pair of running shoes isn't that much slower, really, than a pair of 200 pound carbon plated running shoes. A lot of it comes down to the athlete, but it does, just, it does, whew, still fighting it, does prove to you that actually, you know what, if you just want to get out and run at 9.99, you can go and get yourself a relatively decent pair of running shoes and get the job done.